Hello, hello, how are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining the TRS Tour. I appreciate you guys looking out to my video. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? This is gonna be for my beautiful Scorpio, someone rising. Hi Scorpios, how y'all doing? This is basically gonna go, basically going to be a spread for August 2020. Let's see what's coming up in August 2020 for my beautiful Scorpios, okay? Male or female don't matter. All right. What's going to come? In the month of August, for my beautiful Scorpios, male or female, doesn't matter. What's to come for my beautiful Scorpios for the month of August, okay? It says, your commitment is being tested at this time, Scorpio, okay? A fiery climax approaches. Y'all could be dealing with a Taurus here, okay? It says, what you need to release. So, it's something that you need to release here, okay? Because right now your commitment could be being tested at this moment. But I do see a fiery climax approaching. Okay, so there's a need for you to release. So therefore you can have this fiery um, climax, okay? Okay, prosperity lies back ahead. Okay, 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 okay. Very close to achieving your goal here, Scorpio. You're very close to achieving your goals. Okay? The answers that you need regarding anything in your life is coming towards you. Okay? What else for my beautiful Scorpios? Okay, balance spirituality and practicality. Okay? That's me for that. Also, um, it said nothing will come of a situation. Hold your vision. Look at the bigger picture. Emotions are running high and your personal issues need a resolution. Mm. So somebody's commitment is being tested because somebody could be going through some type of personal issues at this moment. And in order for you to do that, you have to release so that your prosperity can come in your beautiful climax as well. Alrighty. Oh, bottom of the deck. A new romantic cycle begins. So, you got to be ready for it, don't you? Okay? Definitely, honey. So, let's see how your partner is feeling about you, Scorpio, in the month of August. Let's see how your partner is feeling about you in the month of August. Oh, my beautiful Scorpio. How is Scorpio partner feeling about them in the month of August? Okay, um, definitely wanted to reconcile with you. Somebody um, definitely wants to come back together. Okay, something could be keeping you guys apart. Maybe um, your love life is being influenced by you guys' religious beliefs here. And they're saying there's a need for you to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, what else? How else do y'all person feel about you that's feeling like something is definitely off about a situation they feel like something is definitely off about you okay but they do want to reconcile the situation okay chemistry wow your person do have a magnetic attraction with you they do feel a deep bond here but they but they for me they're thinking that you need to forgive and learn from your past here they might feel like you are acting a little bit childish at this moment to scorpio don't don't forget because you could be at the top. Um, this could be how you know you're feeling, okay. By the way, but definitely I see somebody is attracted to you, okay. I do see this person may be firm with you, they know you are a soulmate, they know that you are not expressing your feelings, but you do have um high feelings for them. They know that they know that you do love them, Scorpio, but they also know that you're keeping your emotions to yourself, you're not expressing yourself to them. Okay, but definitely they still want to give this relationship a chance. If not, if things don't work out, they definitely feel like they want to separate. Okay. Now, how do you feel about your person in the month of August, Scorpio? How do you feel about your person in the month of August? How do you feel about your person in the month of August, Scorpio? Very soon, you're trying to decide what you want to do as far as moving forward. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're trying to decide whether or not you want to um, basically propose to this person or basically give this person a higher commitment, okay? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, you definitely want to get to know this person, okay? You definitely want to get a deep in the mind with this person, even further than what it is, okay? And you definitely want it to stay positive at this time, okay? One more for my beautiful uh, Scorpio, how they're feeling about their partner. Too many, one more. Here we go. You definitely want to have a heart to heart conversation about this person. You're highly attracted to this individual. Okay, this person makes your heart flutter. They definitely make your heart flutter here. Okay. You definitely want so basically trying to clearly decide whether you want you want to propose this person or take this to a higher level of commitment. But you're getting to know this person still. You're trying to stay positive. And you definitely want to have a heart to heart conversation with this person. Because you are very passionate about them. They are very passionate about you too. They want to give this relationship a chance. But they're saying if you don't change your deceptive ways as far as not revealing who you really are or your feelings, they are going to walk away. Okay? They do feel that magnetic pull with you. They do. But there's a need. They want you to pay attention to the red flags as far as within yourself. And also, um, you know, how they're feeling. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and get you guys a spread. Some of you definitely could be fearing that maybe you feel like things are not going to work out. Okay. Okay. What do I have for my beautiful Scorpios? Give me a spread spread for the month of August 2020. Okay, somebody definitely could be feeling guilty about something here. Okay, but I do see my, somebody trying to fight for this. Okay, but somebody also has a guard up. Already, somebody definitely has been daydreaming, thinking about something here. Okay, the hermit, somebody has been spending some time alone. Okay, you guys could be dealing with... Uh, another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, or Virgo, because with the Hermit card. But somebody feel like um, they definitely are juggling something here. But it's like, it's a, as in, it's a lot of things on their plate, okay? And they feel like, but somebody definitely is handling this well, I see that, okay? Okay, somebody could have been watching somebody, maybe, like I said, a Capricorn, or maybe um, another Virgo, excuse me, a Virgo, because I didn't mention Virgo, and also a Taurus here, but somebody basically is focused on their pinnacles, okay, but somebody definitely could be watching you guys' relationship, maybe an air sign, or you could be watching your person, your person could be watching you, or watching somebody's money, what have you, okay, but I do see somebody want to move positively in a new, better direction, okay? But definitely, I could see somebody trying to basically, they're tired of waiting, they have invested in the situation, and are becoming disappointed and unsatisfied, okay? But I do see somebody still willing to fight even though they feel that way, okay? Right now, they could be feeling like this is too much, okay? And they might want to complete it out. They feel like somebody could be toxic when it comes to give and take in here, okay? Somebody definitely could feel like somebody's very toxic here, okay? Especially when it comes to money, they might be feel like they bound to a situation. And somebody may feel like they just want to be independent in the month of August. Oh, wow. So, we do have a four of wands here. So, definitely, um, this definitely could be a partnership here. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. First of all, what I'm saying, because look at the four of wands to the empress. Okay. If you're, a, if you're a male Scorpio, you're definitely looking at some woman as in like, damn, she got it all. Damn, she made me feel good. Damn, she inspires me. Damn, I really want her. She has it all. I want it. You know, could be a cancer too. The cherry, I do see you guys may be moving forward in this situation. But somebody going to have to release something here in order for this to blossom and be something better than what it is. Okay? Because I do see somebody making you happy. But the person that you might be dealing with might want some time to themselves. I'm just saying. But they're still willing to fight for this connection. Anything else? 
Okay, Queen of Cups. Wow, there you go, Scorpio. Or this is definitely how you feel about this person. This person loves you and you love this person. Okay. But somebody definitely is, I don't know, you guys. Some let me let me clarify this. Uh -oh. Wow, you know what? I don't need to clarify. Bump that. Okay, I see a uh, ten of pentacles out of this situation. So this definitely is gonna come together. We got the four wands, empress, queen of cups, the, the ten of pentacles. Damn. Whoever this woman is, she's one of a kind. I tell you that. I see why you want to be with this person. But somebody could feel like something from the past was toxic too. About the give and take. Okay. Could be entering the love now. But I do see somebody want to move positively, okay. But somebody might need some time to themselves a little bit. Okay. Some type of deception going to have to... You know, turn around. All right. Not meaning it's cheating the line. I don't see any of that. Any third party or nothing like that. Okay. But somebody could have been juggling. Okay. Let's see what the Seven of Cups is. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. See, nah. Somebody having anxiety over if this person, uh, particularly a woman, has options. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody don't know if they, mm. wow, see this woman ain't no joke, but whoever this woman is ain't no joke, honey, she's like, I'm gonna cut out all the bullshit, you keep messing with me, honey, I'm gonna be still and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch you, I'm gonna intuitively observe you from now on, because my emotions are balanced, they're secured, and I'm unbothered. Hmm. <laughs> Whoever that is. But I do see this is working out, you guys. Don't worry. If you want this to work out, I see it working out. If you don't, it's your it's your decision and what you want to do, okay? But <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Uh let me get you guys get you guys a spiritual message. And then an answer, uh, angel answer card. Then I'll let you guys go. Okay, for my beautiful Scorpios, what um, message do they need to know? What, for my beautiful Scorpios, what message do they need to know? Okay, definitely you need to work on your heart chakra. Somebody needs to work on a heart chakra in this situation. Okay, somebody needs to take the lead. Confront whatever's, you know, um, holding you guys back in order for this beautiful thing to blossom. That's beautiful, though. Just take the lead. You know, confront your shadow side if you need to do that. And then so this can blossom, so this can grow, so this could be to something miraculous, okay? But let's see. What else? One more card for my beautiful Scorpios. I mean, hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. What you say? Somebody could have been arguing was like, hit the road, Jack. <laughs> it's not funny, but you know, just saying. Trust, you guys. Trust is going to work out. That's very beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Big happy changes. Trust is going to work out. That's beautiful. Thank you guys so much for joining Tierra's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking on to my video. If you guys would um, like personal readings, look at the description box below. Also, if you guys um, would like to donate to my channel, look at the description box below for my PayPal account. Thank you guys so much. Stay blessed.